Yeah, the woman was just out for a night of fun and was trying to get home safely, but instead, police say she found herself in extreme danger. It's really messed up, and like, yeah, I just wish it didn't happen. But. Brenda Monroy says she's never felt uneasy about riding in an Uber or Lyft until now. Van Nuys police say Tuesday night a woman called a Lyft to pick her up from a local pub. Investigators say the driver was 37 year old Octavio Gomez. When the man pulled into the victim's neighborhood, police say Gomez sexually assaulted her before she got out of his car. Kind of sucks that men don't have to take those precautions as we do, but. Just got to be extra careful. Usually, don't don't leave my um, don't let my daughter taking Uber or Lyft because you know I, I always thinking like it's very very dangerous. Police eventually tracked Gomez down and arrested him while he was driving for Lyft. He also works for Uber, and investigators worry there could be more victims out there. Riders we spoke with say it's up to both the rideshare companies and customers to make sure another trip doesn't take a dark turn. When I go out with my friends, we have this thing where we like text each other when we make it home. So I think that can kind of be something people can do. It also requires the businesses to really profile the people they're going to hire. Now, in a statement, a Lyft spokesperson said the allegations described are truly horrific, and we have reached out to the passenger to extend our full support. From day one, the safety of our community has been our number one priority. As soon as we received this information, we deactivated the driver, and we stand ready to assist law enforcement with their investigation. As for Uber, we did reach out as well and still are waiting to hear back. And Gomez is being held on more than $2 million bail. We're live in Van Nuys, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News.